Welcome back to the channel and thank you for watching. Today is but the first of many days that barristers across England and Wales have walked out of Crown Courts across the country over legal aid fees in historic industrial action. The Criminal Bar Association describes the system as facing an existential crisis because of inadequate funding. There has been an offer of 15% uplift in fees, but this will not apply to the backlog of over 58,000 cases in Crown Courts across the country, meaning any of the barristers that would benefit from the uplift will not do so for several years. Not only is there a significant backlog of cases, but 567 criminal trials including 60 sex offence cases, were unable to go ahead last year because there were simply no barristers to prosecute or defend them. This is because over the last two decades, criminal legal aid fees have seen a reduction in barristers' salaries of around 30%, meaning significantly fewer barristers are choosing the criminal bar as their line of work. And in fact, many are leaving the profession altogether. Now, for anyone that thinks that all barristers are sitting on big fat salaries, they might be very much surprised by the fees that barristers are offered at the criminal bar for standard hearings and even trials. For example, a standard hearing ranges from between £91 and £126, not including any of the preparation time, costs for travel, and the time that one might be sitting around in court waiting for the trial to get heard. This would obviously not include any conferences with the client, waiting around in court and travelling to and from court waiting for that hearing. All in all, with the preparation and travel costs and everything else, assuming there are no further delays, this can mean barristers are receiving less than £20 an hour for their services and would literally be better off choosing another profession. The coronavirus pandemic has certainly not helped, but this is said not to be the cause of the problem, rather it has exacerbated the problem, and cases in the backlog have risen from 40,000 in March of 2020 to 58,271 cases as of April 2022. The judiciary has said that it will not enter into the dispute. However, Ian Burnett, the Lord Chief Justice for England and Wales, has issued an internal note which ultimately serves as a warning to the criminal bar that those that abandon live trials may ultimately face professional misconduct. But this has only served to anger a large number of barristers, including more than 70 Queen's Counsel, some of the country's most senior and experienced criminal practitioners, who penned a letter to the Times, ultimately to say that this guidance was seen as an attempt to intimidate. But just to bring the reality of the current state of the criminal bar home to the great many that watch my channel, if someone is charged with a simple count of theft, which is an either way offence, this many people would think would take four to six weeks from the point of arrest to being heard in court. In fact, it's more like three or four years meaning that while the charge is pending, you have a pending criminal prosecution. So anything that you apply for, whether it be a job or mortgage or whatever, you can no longer check that box to say that you haven't been charged with a criminal offence. This ultimately means three or four years of your life might be put on hold, because all of the plans that might depend on you not being charged with a criminal offence and not having a criminal record may well have to go on hold whilst this case is pending. But that's just for a simple case of theft. What about many more serious cases that I'll leave to your imagination? And some of these cases have seen those charged prevented from seeing their children because of the nature of the offence with which they've been charged. So again, this might go on for three or four years with the family courts putting everything on hold because there's a pending prosecution of a certain nature that would ordinarily, if found guilty, prevent that person from spending time with the children. So this is a very real situation where the criminal bar with Crown Courts being sold off Fewer barristers taking up the profession, certainly at the criminal bar because of the low rates of pay, that these trials and the backlog of cases are taking so long to be heard that it is having an unjust effect on someone's life, even if that person is ultimately found not guilty by a jury. Three or four years of their life can be turned upside down, they can be put on hold, and ultimately their name and their reputation can be smeared in that time, and ultimately their life can come to a grinding halt whilst they are pending trial. As in the cases that I've said, some people are literally prevented from seeing their children or spending time with their children. So all in all, the criminal bar and the criminal justice system as a whole is at its breaking point by all accounts and by all those who work in it. Significantly fewer barristers are choosing to undertake legal criminally aided work because of the low rates of pay. 
Hence the call for a vote to strike by the Criminal Bar Association, in which over 80% voted in favour of action. The strikes are intended to last for four weeks, starting with call-outs today and tomorrow, increasing by one day each week until a full five-day strike from Monday the 18th of July to Friday the 22nd of July. And just to reiterate the delay between the opening and the conclusion of serious offences, such as sex offence cases, Due to the small number of barristers at the criminal bar and the backlog of cases, even the smallest of Crown Courts have a 70-day delay between the opening and conclusion, right up to over 450 days delay in Crown Courts such as Leicester. So thinking about that for a moment, even for some of the most serious offences charged, you could be waiting for well over a year from the opening to the conclusion of your case, waiting to clear your name. And I also think it's a well-established phenomenon that people not currently affected by the system don't necessarily want to talk about it or hear about it. But until you are caught up in that system and you experience the delay and the injustice, even though it is a justice system, only then the true nature of the problem will hit home. So I'm doing this video to raise awareness for the current problems within the system in the hopes that something will be resolved. So please do like this video and share it with somebody. And as always, thank you for watching.